What is up guys, my name is Maximus and welcome to the Gladiators Club where I'll upload the best, quickest and unedited tips and tricks for small or starting content creators. So let's get started. All right, for, um, for today we are actually going to talk about mic settings. So basically right now I don't have any filters on my microphone. This is literally what it is. I just turn up the gain and that's it this is unfiltered now this is actually what we are actually going to talk about for today microphone all right so before we begin there's actually one thing that i need you guys to download and that's actually uh the reaper plugins <clears throat> so this plugin is a vst plugin for obs and um this can def uh, this can definitely help you in terms of making your mic 10 times better than its de its default settings now um it's it's gonna take me forever if, if i'm actually gonna gonna tell you what reaper plugin is and what uh what vst plugin is so you can actually just um go to youtube and search for uh, you know um like the definition of a VST and um, what is a Reaper plugin and something like that. And additionally, before we begin, um, this is actually my microphone. Um, I'm using the Behringer C1 Professional Large Diaphragm Studio Condenser Microphone. So this is actually, this, um, this microphone is considered as a budget microphone, budget condenser microphone con um, compared to the AT2020 uh, or you know any other uh, blue um, blue microphone or it's uh, brother the Behringer C3 I think or something like that but yeah all right one of the cons um, of this microphone is that it actually has a very low input <clears throat> so as you may see I'm at, um, let me just go away from my microphone like two feet away from my microphone this is actually how it sounds two feet away from my microphone so there you go and it's actually connected to my Focusrite um, 2i2 Scarlett Focusrite 2, uh, 2i2 this is my audio interface so um, one of the tip one of the first tip that I'm actually gonna tell you is do not this knob right here <coughs> your gain knob don't put it above 50% um, or above r right here or something because you're actually gonna clip and you don't want that you want your gain to be low in your <coughs> in your audio interface and then um, turn the volume up in OBS so that you know the the background noises the hiss um, will not be noticeable um, from my microphone. All right. <coughs> Damn cough. All right, let's begin. So let me just move my OBS here. Here you go. So first thing you have to do is to click on this um, gear icon here. Go to filters and um, add your filter so just right click click add and the first filter that you you actually need to add is limiter uh, limiter so this is limiter so this is one of the most anticipated um how do i say this one of the most anticipated filters um weighted by the the community from obs because this actually limits your um your microphone audio to to such threshold so I have here my negative one decibel so it means that my microphone I mean even though I clip like oh uh, I'm actually not gonna clip because my microphone has a very low input but yeah even though you clip um, what OBS is actually gonna do is it's actually gonna lower your volume so that um, your your audience will not um, ear rape or something so that's actually how 
uh, how it works. So for me, my suggestion is just to set it to um, negative one decibel, just r right here, so that you know it's actually a guarantee that it's you're not gonna clip. Because if you set it to um, minus five, it's actually safe. If you if you set it to um, negative five, but the thing is, it's actually gonna lower your volume, and sometimes it it has this. Um, this effect that you know um this kind of effect like that kind of that kind of effect, like it's, it's actually lowering your volume inconsistent with an inconsistency or something like that so safest just to put it negative one so i'm gonna put that there one second before we actually begin this actually what I'm trying to uh, tell you. Put your gain, probably 50% in your audio interface. Go to your settings, sounds. <coughs> and um, line in. Make sure that this is 100%. And you can actually turn up the volume here. Make this 200%. There you go. My voice is actually um, a bit louder now, right? Without um, without making it distorted or something. So th that's another tip. All right. Next filter is VST plugin EQ. So all you have to do, right click, add, add VST plugin um, 2.x. And then this is what you'll see. Select re-EQ standalone. There you go open plugin interface now this is not what you're gonna see the first time that you're gonna edit the, the 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 settings so what you have to do click on number one set it to high pass this is actually for your base so be mindful that your your frequency should be around i would say 70 to um to 100 that's the safest that's probably the safest because if not you're just gonna sound muddy um, second is, uh, number two is just, you could, um, select band and you're safe around 200 to 220. It's just going to make your, your voice clearer. Three, put it to band again, around 900 to 1000. <clears throat> but mine is 945.1. Again, this is just going to put uh, a much emphasis on your voice, you know, Fourth is this is um, low pass. You, you have to to set this to to low pass. Now, the safest I would say is around um, aggressive. Six thousand five hundred is aggressive. Safest would be ten thousand. Um, because below six thousand five hundred, probably like five thousand or four thousand five hundred, your your voice is gonna sound super muddy. So. I'm going to show you. So, one second. And I actually put my gain plus 10 so that it's actually going to help out my, my, you know, my, to, to compensate with my microphone's low input. So, you just have to close that out. Let me um, activate it. I'm pretty sure that my, my, um, my microphone sounds a little different right now. But let me, let me just put it this way. So <clears throat> this is what I'm trying to tell you earlier. If you set this to like lower than 5,000, probably let's say, uh, let's just say 4,000, I'm going to sound super muddy. I'm pretty sure that I'm actually, s uh, that I sound super muddy. Now there's actually a way for you to, to check your, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, there's actually a way for you to, to check your, your sound on the fly go to settings advanced options under mic and auxiliary just just put it under monitor and output there you go i can hear my voice right now but i'm i'm just wait a second all right so i'm just i'm just going to mute my my desktop audio so that it won't echo in uh, in the recording or something like that. All right. Um, 
let's let me go back to filters open plugin not that one this one all right i'm gonna put four lower as you can see i actually sound like i sound different compared this you know what this actually okay but for me it's uh, it's too muddy i don't want that so i'm just gonna put it back to 9500 okay close that out you know what <coughs> i just have to to turn off um monitoring it's actually annoying me <laughs> Um, one thing that you, you you can actually do is you can stream into um, you can create a Twitch account, you know, and then stream on that account because you know if, if you're gonna stream on a new account, it's not an affiliate account or it's not a partnered account. It's gonna have delay, so it's actually like the best way for you to check your your microphone audio on the fly as well. I, I that's how I do that because if I'm gonna turn on monitoring it's actually like annoying me or some or some sort all right let's go back next is comp in um right click add and then um choose com uh, compressor this what this is actually gonna do is it's gonna compress your your um your microphone volume if you um go past into a certain threshold so my threshold is actually negative 18 decibel i don't know why it's like um like a reverse threshold i don't actually understand but negative 18 is actually right here like 12 or something it's like the safest and you, you're not going to sound too pros. Your voice is actually not going to sound like super processed or something. It's just going to sound natural, but you're going to sound more professional. All right. And the ratio that I'm actually using is 4.1. If you want to be if you uh, if you want to be very aggressive, you can set it to 8.1 or something. 3.1 is OK. 2.1 is OK. But for me, I, f I just found I just find 4.1 um like suitable uh, for my voice okay so let me turn that on oh before that let me check if i'm gonna clip my 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 uh, microphone this is actually how i'm gonna sound oh uh, okay ladies and gentlemen it's actually how i'm gonna sound removing limiter this is actually how i'm gonna sound hello ladies and gentlemen how are you doing Putting limiter and com and compressor, this is actually how I'm gonna sound. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am actually shouting right now. There you go. That's actually how it works. Then um, the next plugin is the sub EQ. I just I just named it sub EQ because um, this is like you actually have to to um, to like change this every time you go you go streaming but in my own opinion i don't actually have to change it because sometimes it's actually gonna mess up with your with your voice sometimes it's you're gonna sound muddy or too so much your voice gonna sound um super processed in some of your stream and sometimes not so my suggestion is to is to um do probably do this once and then just don't touch it but guys this is actually gonna gonna add delay into your um into your voice so um first thing that you have to do right click add vst plugin again choose refer standalone <clears throat> open plugin interface and then Edit mode, select precise. And mode, select sub subtract. So what this is actually doing is it actually removes the background noises, the hiss. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that my microphone is actually might probably sound better now. But if I turn this on, my microphone is going to sound a little bit processy, but not to the point that it's actually <clears throat> like um, bad or muddy or something. So what you have to do, let me just turn that on. There you go. I'm pretty sure that my my microphone sounds a little bit different now. Am I right? <laughs> Alright, so what you have to do is just to click this, automatically build noise profile. I don't want to click it right now because my ba ba background noise is super noisy. I have my AC on, I have my... Um, f I have a fan directly in front of me. I don't know if you actually, if you guys actually heard that earlier um, at the start of the video. My fiance is actually working at the background as well. There's a lot of things happening in my room right now, but because of all the plugins, I just sound normal. So yeah, all we have to do is to keep quiet, make sure that it's like everything. In your back background is your is only your ambient noise and click on on automatically build noise profile and and then this red thing right here is actually gonna adapt to um, the fainted yellow line right here so you, you actually have to to be super quiet because if for example if there's a squeaking like that or a snap or what kind of noise like this it's actually gonna mess up your uh, your EQ so that's actually how it works now once uh, once you've built your noise profile you just have to unclick it and it's gonna retain the red bar here uh, the red uh, what do you call this graph here or something all right close it out the last thing is the noise floor As you can see, my my microphone is actually picking up some background noises if I'm actually not talking. There you go. But if I turn this on... Professional it is as it can be. <laughs> All right, so just right click add and the uh, VST plugin, regate standalone, open plugin, and just keep quiet. And just make sure that this knob here is just like above. That's actually my dog. He's actually sick. <laughs> All right, moving on. So just make sure that, you know, um, this knob here is just above your background noise. That's actually how you, you can do it. And then just close it out and voila. You are now a professional streamer with a professional microphone. That costs two thousand dollars. <laughs> I hope I actually helped you guys again. This is genuine Maximus. Ooh, before that, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the filters so that you guys can actually compare how I sound before and after. This is how I sound like without the VSD plugin and limiter. This is how I sound like with the VSD plugin and limiter. There you go, guys. I hope I actually helped you. If you have any questions, just drop the, um, a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more, um, for more tips like this. And I stream on Twitch every day um, for um, epic comedy and uh, gameplay. I don't know. But see you there. Again, this is Maximus. I hope to see you again. Have a great day. Boo.